A warm welcome to Buzz, 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 a continuation of why to retire in Cambodia and not in Thailand, for example. You can get near enough a really nice apartment for $300 to $350 per month, depending on the contract that you have. So $350, you could say for six months, but it can go down to $300 per month for one year contract. This includes garbage collection, cable television, Wi-Fi, but the water and the electric you would have to pay extra for. Now, the water can vary from $3 per unit to a fixed fee of anywhere between $5 and $10, which is pretty standard. And many thanks and a big shout out to my friends in IPS who are like a real estate agency here you can see the link in the description below and they would be happy if you are in Siam Rip or when you do come to Siam Rip to show you some properties and usually the case would be a two-month deposit sometimes a one-month deposit it does vary everything is negotiable and of course your first month's rent now all of these properties are near enough you could say one two two and a half, three kilometers away from the city center. So it would be absolutely ideal to get a motorbike, but you can use the tuk-tuk services or the local surroundings. Now, let's hop into it right now. So let's go into the first apartment. You can see here that it's a small apartment. It's more like a studio. Here is a very small living room. I would guess that they are going to put in some more furniture for you. A chair is not enough. And the bedroom is there. Um, no TV there. And a really small balcony. Okay. But it has a wardrobe there. It has a queen size or a double bed for a single person. That's going to be fine. But looking very sparse of furniture. Again, these kind of prices is 300 to $350 per month. Now, I'm going to cut myself off and you can have a look around all by yourself. The good news is this does come with a rooftop swimming pool and a rooftop area as well. I think you can use the washing machine there on the left hand side. It wasn't clearly shown. And let's go and have a look at the... Can we see? Is there a swimming pool there? I think there is in a moment or two. So, it's... All these apartments, the difference is between Cambodia and Thailand that these apartments are privately owned. They're not a big company, it's not a big corporation, 
related to this. These are private companies, the, the private pe- private properties, and they've just built them. These are people with money, and there we get to the swimming pool eventually. So you have sort of more like a personal service. It's a very, very small pool. It's like a very big bathtub. So I think in the same apartment building, you can see this. It's a similar kind of style, but this is better decorated. This is what you would expect for the property. Again, living room with the kitchen inside there. You have Wi-Fi there. Don't know the speed of the Wi-Fi. Usually they're not the fastest in the world. Same, similar kind of bedroom, and you can get a bigger balcony there i would say obviously this is going to be the top end of 350 the apartment before is a going to be a little bit less than that and the view is what you see here and if we go down to street level as well you can get what it's like now let's move on to the next apartment building So this one has a really nice swimming pool. It looks actually quite huge. Please note this is all being filmed on a GoPro camera and it is on a wide angled lens, but it does look rather nice.
Okay, so let's have a look inside this apartment. I think the landlady is showing us around here a really massive space. There's your kitchenette with a cooker, kettle, fan, for example, and TV and a couch. So there's lots of space if you wanted to add in any more furniture. It's sort of definitely needed there. We can move down the apartment. I think it says no smoking there. We can move down into the apartment eventually and we'll get to the bathroom, which is here. Pretty standard European bathroom, but with no bath, it's a shower. And they're a Western style toilet, which you will find in most apartments here in Siam Rip. And into the bedroom, nice flooring, a bigger bed. It looks like a queen size, possibly king size bed. And the view is much better there. There. And this possibly would come with two air conditioning units. The electricity is about 25 kilowatts, which is a standard, sorry, it's at 25 cents per kilowatt, which is a standard for a property that you would rent. If you do buy, it would go down a bit cheaper. So it is relatively expensive for electricity, but it depends on how much you use. The air conditioning is going to take up most of your energy supply, but it does look quite nice. A dressing table there, a night light. And again, these prices anywhere between 300 to 350. This one does come with a really nice swimming pool and most of them do come with some kind of parking area.
And with this apartment comes a utility room where I can guess you're sharing the washing machine there because it does, doesn't come with the apartment. Maybe this is at extra cost, I'm not too sure. Let's go into the final and personally speaking, the best apartment I would like to show you. I'm not going to speak much over this. I'm going to let the beauty of the apartment shine through rather than me waffling on. But this is actually very modern and quite nice.
So if you are still here, these kind of apartments are $300 to $350. Wi-Fi is usually included. Don't know the speed, but I could guess it's not going to be the best speed in the world. You can buy high-speed internet here. You can get it for about $700 per month on a public IP, and it gives you speeds of up to 100 Mbps, which is exactly what I have here. The Wi-Fi included, the cable TV usually is included. It's going to be in standard definition. It's not usually in high definition. The water you would have to pay for. Sometimes it's free in some locations, but some is $3 per unit. Electricity, 25 cents per unit. Garbage collection comes, and sometimes it comes with a cleaning service where they clean the apartment once a week. I'm not too sure if they will do. And all pretty much located in the city but not directly in the city center where they would be smaller uh, or they if they are the same size they're going to cost you a lot more i hope you found that useful if you do have the time to like subscribe and share you can join the club you can join my membership program you can um, financially support me on super thanks and patreon but a big shout out to ips who took the time out to show us these videos to show us these apartments so we could make a video it benefits them and maybe i'll get one or two extra views with this god bless to everyone thank you very much for your time bye bye